welcome to another episode of Tete Tete Unplugged, where we dive into inspirational stories and candid conversations with remarkable individuals. I'm your host, Bhumika, and today we have an extraordinary guest with us. Kisna Bharana from Manav Rishna International School, Sector 46, Gurugram, has achieved an impeccable milestone by scoring 99.168 percentile in the most competitive examination, NEET 2024. Today, we're going to explore his journey, strategies, ups and downs throughout his preparatory journey. Whether you're a future NEET aspirant, a student balancing dreams in academics, or just someone looking for inspiration, this episode will sure be enlightening for you. Welcome to the show, Kisna. We're excited to have you, and congratulations on your phenomenal achievement. Um, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I'm quite excited for this interview. Wonderful. We are thrilled to have you as well. Let's start from the beginning. How does it feel? I feel great. I am quite thrilled to be um, having scored such great marks and uh, achieving this great feat. Wonderful. And when did you actually decide to pursue you know, your education in medicine and that you wanted to prepare for NEET? Um, so I was deciding what stream to take after the 10th board exam. So mm -hmm. My father guided me to pursue the medical field Wonderful. so that I can become a doctor and help the people who need it. And that's how you found the yep. path to NEET 2024. Wonderful, wonderful. And how long did you actually prepare for the NEET exam? Uh, two, and a, uh, two years, to be precise. To be precise, two years. And what was your study routine like? Uh, first, uh, I would go to school and then after coming back, uh, I would give like three to four hours of dedicated preparation to mm -hmm. and I w then I would go for any physical activities like playing tennis I used to play tennis. Wow, yeah. In that preparation phase. That's nice, that's nice. And um, can you share any specific study technique or methods that worked really well for you? Yeah, so I used to follow this technique called Pomodoro technique. Mm -hmm. uh, you must have probably heard it on the internet. Mm -hmm. So in this technique, uh, First, you can study for like half an hour session, and then you must take like five minute break. In mm -hmm. that five minute break, you can hear like a song or something, mm -hmm. or do something that you enjoy. And after like doing this for five, six session, uh, it uh, maintains focus and brings consi consistency to you. Wow, that is, uh, and you know, that, that's really innovative technique to stay focused actually, you know, it really helps, I believe, you know, yeah. you work for 30 minutes and you take a five minute break and you relax and then you get back to your 30 minutes and you know that after 30 minutes you'll have another break. So I think that's really helpful. So NEAT exam is the most competitive one, you know, in the country. So Kisna, can you walk us through your experience on the day of the exam? How did it feel before the exam, during the exam, and afterwards, what was the feeling like? Mm, sure, I was a bit nervous on that day because my two years of preparation was coming to an end. And, um, my mother was telling me not to feel uh, any stress or that type of thing so that I can do my best at the exam. She just told me that do your best and whatever happens after that will take care of you. Yeah. And after the exam, uh, I told my father after coming out of the center that I'll surely go to the government college. Uh, I don't know about any colleges, but I gave my best. Wonderful. And how did you feel during the exam? I'm sure you must have just left all your worries aside and only focused on you know yeah. attempting the paper your best. I didn't even know when those three and a half hour passed, only, uh, you know, uh, came into my surroundings after those uh, 5.30. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Kisna, uh, were there any particular sections, you know, in your uh, NEET exam or any topics that were most challenging for you and how did you overcome it? Uh, personally, for me, uh, it was probably the physics subject. Mm -hmm. I quite struggled in it. Uh, during the starting phase mm -hmm. as it was quite difficult for me to understand those numericals and mm. how to approach them. So uh, its solution is probably uh, practicing and practicing more questions as suggested by my teachers as well. Well that's true actually you know practicing really helps you know when we were studying mathematics my teacher would always tell me practice and practice more and that's how you'll you know 
come out to, to be victorious in the subject. And I believe that is what worked for you as well in physics. I myself struggled with physics a lot. Numericals are a pain. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Uh, how important do you think mock tests are and uh, how often did you take them? Uh, mock tests are quite important, uh, you know, when you take into perspective about these competitive exams. Uh, I used to take them like every two weeks or uh, by the end of my preparation phase, I used to give them every day. Every day, yeah. one mock test every yeah. day. That's quite, um, you know, um, stressful, I believe, you know, yeah, it, it takes it all and it's like attempting a paper every day. That must have been difficult. Yeah. But that was what needed, I believe. Yes. Great. Do you have any hobbies or extracurricular activities that you followed at your school or maybe outside the school that helped you, you know, maintain a balance? Yeah, I used to play chess and uh, for indoor sport and for outdoor sport, I used to play uh, tennis. And uh, I also took part in a few chess competition from my school side. Oh, that's great. That's great to hear. And um, what are your plans for the future now that, you know, you've scored, your neat result is finally out and, you know, it's it's time for the admission. Uh, but, you know, leave the college aside. But uh, what are your plans otherwise? You know, what do you, where do you see yourself in the future? I have not given much thought about it. But firstly, I will uh, pursue my MBBS and it's too early to judge um, what field I'll pursue. So I'll first do my MBBS and then think about it like two, three years later. Yeah, that makes absolute sense. First, you want to understand how things work and which field you will find most interest in after two, three years. That would be the right time to decide, actually. Can you share an inspirational quote or a mantra that kept you going throughout this you know, difficult period of preparation? Um, so I heard a quote on the internet. Uh, that says uh, success requires sacrifice so that mm -hmm. really kept me going that that is yeah. actually true what kind of sacrifices if i may ask did you make like you know apart from you know not playing around and not spending too much time with your friends i used to enjoy uh, doing you know outdoor activities and uh, <laughs> watching tv for example yeah i didn't get much time to do that during my preparation phase. Mm -hmm. But I think success requires sacrifice is a mantra that will always keep you going no matter at which stage of your life you are. That is something to hold on to. Yeah. So, Krishna, if you weren't pursuing medicine, it, it's quite an interesting question, so it will need a little thought. If you weren't pursuing medicine, what other career path might you have chosen? When I was younger, I used to think that I'll become a chess player because uh, I when I was three, I started playing chess. Oh, wow. I used to enjoy that. So, but uh, when I, you know, came in 10th grade, I started to be more realistic. So I thought, why not choose the medical field? Uh -huh. Great, great. And of course, I, I believe you score well in grade 10, and that's how you found your way to the medicine uh, studies, right? Great. So, Kisna, uh, another, just one last question before we head to our uh, fun rapid fire round. What role did your teachers or your school play in helping you prepare for your career in medicine or challenges of life for that matter? Yeah, so, uh, my school teachers, they helped me uh, get through the NCRT books because those are the books that are pretty important for me mm -hmm. syllabus to be precise. And, um, school also helped me in, uh, you know, taking part in uh, co-curricular activities like uh, going for chess competitions mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. So you got a platform uh, you know, to pursue chess as your hobby in the school and that, that's what helped you find a way to relieve yourself from the stress of all the studies of the need. Yeah. Great. So Kisna, you've shared some really incredible insights and uh, experiences today. Now it's time to switch gears and have a bit of fun with our rapid fire round. Are you ready? Yes. Biology, chemistry or physics? Chemistry. That's it. Definitely. <laughs> Preferred study method, um, flashcards or notes? Notes. Favorite scientist or doctor? Uh, doctor Aditya UT. Okay. Group study or solo study? Solo. Lab work or clinical work? Clinical work. Favorite medical TV show or movie? The Good Doctor. Mine too. Morning study sessions or late night? Late night. One word to describe need preparations? Hectic. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite 
first thing you did after your NEET exam? Sleep for 11 hours. That's right. Your go-to stress reliever? Watching TV and movie. One superpower you wish you had? Space travel. One word that your friends used to describe you? Bookworm. <laughs> Best piece of advice you have ever received? Perfect. To know your roots and stay true to yourself. Wonderful. Fantastic, Krishna. And uh, that brings us to the end of our conversation today. To all our listeners, we hope you enjoyed this inspirational conversation. If you are a student preparing for NEET or any other competitive examination, this episode is a must watch. And always remember, dedication, perseverance, and the right strategies can make all the difference. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more such interesting interviews and conversations that will inspire you to pursue your dreams in life. Until next time, keep pushing forward, stay positive, and remember, success requires sacrifice, as Kisna says. I'm your host, Bhumika, signing off today. Until next time.